Well, hi guys, this is Emma, part 11 of this little engine build series. We're going to have a look at the boiler fittings. That brings us to the next bit. I've got this that come with this piece of tube and a friend of mine in Melbourne made it, I think. I believe that's what happened. I don't know what thread it was because I've run a 10 mil, an 8 mil dynat over this as per drawings and if you have a look here the threads pretty ugly so it was obviously something else so next job is to make another one of these all this is is a, a piece of round brass with a, a recess in it to fit in this hole and an 8mm thread up the middle this is a piece of hexagon and it's drilled Eighth through the middle and it's got a tiny tiny 90 degree countersink for a for a wood screw or for a countersink screw which is your safety valve and it's got an 8mm thread on there and they've got a screw down tight and there'll be a fibre washer go between them so they're the next bits to make that'll just want something that fits in there like that I'll chuck that one out and a bush that screws in so we better move over to the lathe so I've quickly machined a bit of half inch brass down and put a chamfer on the end to fit in the boiler and I'm gonna run that pretty quick and put a sander drill in it So it actually, actually takes longer to find the tapping chart than it is to actually make the bush, as always. But just to check, and we know this already, or we should know this already, that an M8 by 1.25 thread pitch, the tapping drill size is 8 less 1.25. This shows it as 6.8, so 6.75, 6.8 is the right tapping drill size. Let's see if we can find one. So that one's 6.5 millimeters, that'll be a good start. I reckon we can nearly tap it at that. The next job of course is to part it off. What you probably notice is that I've changed tool posts. I haven't yet got my holders sorted out properly. Um, that's a job maybe for Monday this week. We'll see how we go. More back on that later. But um, for parting off, this is the best thing. So. so there's our bush ready to tap. So there's our bush, wants a bit of a clean up on the top, chamfer wouldn't hurt it either. So there's our bush, I've given it a bit of a chamfer on the top and a clean up and that'll fit nicely in the boiler, like so. That's ready to silver solder in. Next job is the actual safety valve. If we have a look in the book here, it says it's a piece of 11mm or 716th AF hex brass. Now I've got a bit of half inch and that's going to have to do. All it is is a 3mm hole or 8th hole drilled right through and slightly countersunk. And it's got an 8mm thread on it that's 10mm long so that's pretty straightforward. We're going to turn him down 10mm long and 8mm diameter. That's pretty straightforward. Brass, of course, always makes a mess. Now 
That's pretty close. And we're reading there just on eight, so that's not bad. So a little bit of a chamfer on one end there with a the file. Like that. We'll wind this back out of the way. Bring the end of the tailstock barrel up nice and close. And there's brass so it'll cut pretty easy. Just don't forget to back off or you will tear a piece out of the thread. So I've taken a bit of time to make sure that screws up nice and tight. What I've done is run an 8mm drill just slightly into the bush there to give it a bit of a recess and I've filed a bit of a, a bit of relief in the back of the thread there too. And that all screws together nicely. So next job is to set this up this way around in the chuck and send a drill him and drill him through one eighth and put a little bit of a countersink on him. So I have got a one eighth reamer and probably that would be overkill. It's only got a, a threaded screw in it and it's got to be threaded all the way up so that the steam can get past. So this is a nice new 1.8 drill. I'm just going to run that through. Be a bit careful and watch for too many signs of wobble, but that seems to be all good. And that should be our safety valve made. And that goes in there. So that's one boiler fitting, or the main boiler fitting. This of course has a little spring on it and two lock nuts to hold it down. And the boiler pressure blows it off. A bit rudimentary, but it looks like it's probably going to work. So that's that part mate. The other thing that I've noticed is that these little 1 8 Whitworth nuts that I have don't screw back through the 8 mil the 8mm tapped hole in the bush. Now this is a bit of a design problem actually. We screw that, we show you that. That won't go back through. So that's a problem. I might have to make a couple of little nuts for that or, or something a little bit better than that just that it will go through the hole so it doesn't adjust the pressure every time you screw it in and out because this is the filler bush too so that's another job anyway but that's the safety valve so this brings us to our final job tonight which is to braise this in and to braise the pipe in the end now the, the pipe hasn't arrived and I'd rather do it all in one operation I think so we might call this video done the next job is to solder this up and then to give it all a good polish up and there will be another video which will cover testing and the testing apparatus and setting that up and water pressure testing 
So thanks for watching guys and more soon.